when we're ordering decimals, it's sometimes tempting to look at the number of digits and to use that to decide which ones are bigger and which ones are smaller. But with decimals, we have to keep in mind that there are different place values. So that's not typically going to work for us. What we want to do is we want to compare place value by place value. So in this question, we're asked to order the numbers from least to greatest. So I need to find the smallest one first and then progressively have them get bigger. To do that, I want to line them up. And I want to be careful when I'm lining them up to line up place value by place value. So I'm putting the decimals right above and below each other. And I'm putting the decimal places behind them directly above and below each other. And that way, whenever I start doing a comparison, I can look to see which one is the smallest because I want to go smallest to largest. So I look for the very first place value from the left and they all have the first place value being the ones and they are all the same. So no help there. All of those are the same. I just go to the next place value. Now I've got some ones and I've got some fours. So if I'm looking for the smallest, the ones are smaller than the four. And then I keep going looking for the smallest. When I go to the hundreds place, I have a five and I have two fives and a zero. So the zero has a smaller value in that place value than the fives do. So at this point, we have found our smallest digit. Ironically, it has quite a few decimal places, but it is the smallest in value compared to the others. So since I've found that one, I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate it from my list. So it's gone and I'm dealing with just those other three. So again, starting at the first place value, I've got the fours, they're all the same. The ones are smaller than the four, but then when I look at the next place value, these two have both a five in common, so I need to keep going further. When I look at the next place value, there's nothing on that number on the top out there, so I can always put in a zero if I want something that I can compare. And then comparing that to the three means that it has the smallest digit in that place value. So it's the next smallest, or in this case, the second smallest. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. That was the 4.15. Remember, I just kind of put that zero on there to give us a digit to compare. So now it is out of the mix. It's gone. And that leaves me just these last two to compare. And since I'm looking for the smallest, they both have the four in the beginning, but then immediately I get to a one and a four. So that one is gonna be the next smallest. I'm gonna put that in here, 4.1531. And since I have eliminated it, that means that this one is the biggest. Again, I can't stress enough lining up those decimal places when you're making your comparisons and then that'll guide you through comparing place values from left to right.